I'm gonna be making a Vimy's hot pot. So let's go inside. Let's grab a shopping cart. Don't you just love the neon colors? <laughs> let's go. And when you're making a Vimy's hot pot, um, the ingredients that goes into it is totally customizable. It all depends on what you like to eat. So the first thing I'm going to pick up are some Vimy's meatballs. Okay, and see, they have some fish balls if you wanted to add those right here. Yeah, but I'm not going to. Because <laughs> my kids, they like to eat uh, the Vimy's beef meatballs. I'm going to grab a package of those. Cold and I'm wearing shorts because <laughs> it's hot outside. <laughs> but it's like freezing in here. Here we go. There we are. One with the tendons, the purple package, and one without. Okay. Let's go we'll get some pork bones. And we are over here in the meat department, and the bones are all the way down here. So it says right there, it says pork bone, 99 cents a pound. Let me wave down one of these butchers here. Uh, cho anh xin cái miếng nhỏ nhỏ ra đây được nè. Cái miếng nhỏ nhỏ ra đây nè. À hả? Dạ cảm ơn anh. Chặt nhỏ lại giùm em nhé. Okay, so I'm gonna have the butcher slice the pork bones into smaller pieces for me. I oh, know you can see him, he's all over there. See? Okay, I've got my bag of bones and it was $3.13. And I'm down this aisle where it has all the seasonings and stuff and something's wrong with my cart. <laughs> okay, here we go. Um, let me show you. I already have it at home so I'm not going to be buying it today. But this is what it looks like. See right here? And it's uh, five dollars and ninety nine cents. And I already have this at home, so like again, like I said, I'm not gonna be buying it today. But I wanted to show you where um, it would be located at. Uh, okay, let's see what's next. Oh, I need my noodles. Let's go get a bag of noodles. Here we are. Let's go look for my favorite noodles. Let's see, what they have it here. Um, it does not look like they have my favorite type of noodles here, so I'm just going to use something else. And it's uh, 99 cents a package, so maybe I'll grab one more. There we go. Now let's head on over to um, the veggie aisle. I already have some shrimp at home. And if you want it, you can also add other seafood, of course, like... Um, Actually, let me take you to the seafood department and show you. <laughs> Let's see, if you want it, they even have hot pots here. This one here is $39.99. We are now in the seafood department, and let's see what they've got. If you wanted, you can add some squid, but I'm not going to. <laughs> the only seafood item I'm going to add is shrimp today. Let's see what else they got. You can add some mussels if you like. And we have these over here. Maybe some scallops. So what else? There's all the doggy shrimps. Okay, so there you go. <laughs> Just add whatever kind of seafood that you want. See, they have some over here, like the fish balls, the shrimp balls. Tofu. Which one? Which one? There's so many. Look. I can go with this brand. Okay, they have the soft kind. You can use soft, medium, firm, or firm. Yeah, the red ones are firm. I'm gonna go with medium firm. And I'll probably take two packages. These are a dollar and twenty-nine cents. So my kids love tofu, I'm going to add tofu for them. 
There's my green onions and there's my cilantro. Okay, I have my cilantro and green onions in my basket. Let's go grab some mushrooms. And you can choose any type of mushrooms you want. Like there's a whole bunch. Just whatever kind of mushroom that you like. But I'm gonna go with the button mushrooms today because those that's the kind of mushroom that we like to eat, which are right here, a dollar and forty-nine cents each. They have enaki mushroom. <laughs> I don't even know that I'm pronouncing that right. Oh, here I go. I'm gonna go with this one. Yeah, this will be fine. Let's grab this. Some vegetables, and you can use this one here, which is kai sun. It says right there. Or kai na, right here. See, but the one I'm gonna use is the chrysanthemum, which is down here. You can even add some bok choy if you wanted, right over there. Uh, but this is the one I'm gonna be adding the chrysanthemums. And just grab a bag here. But the last thing on my list is beef, which I should have picked up when I was over in the meat department, but I forgot. <laughs> And they should have in the refrigerated section all packaged up for you. They should be over here on the right. Oh yeah, here it is. Right on top, took my bite up here. Okay, I'm gonna go with this one, $5.54. I think that is it. We can go check out now and head on home. See you later, alligator. I am now home and here is everything that I had purchased this morning from the Asian market and the total cost was $23.08. Now like I said, the only two items um, I did not purchase because I already have them at home is this here. Remember I showed you that on the shelf? And a bag of shrimp which I purchased from Stater Brothers yesterday and I believe it was on sale too. I can't remember how much. But yeah, that's it. Um, so now we can go ahead and get started. Remember, just like I said during my shopping trip, this is totally customizable. Just choose your favorite protein and uh, veggies and just add it to the hot pot. If you don't like any of these ingredients, um, choose your own. All right, so let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is make a pork broth. And here are the pork bones that I had purchased this morning. Um, if you don't want to use a pork stock, you can make your own chicken stock or use the cans of chicken broth. I have a pot of water on the stove and I've turned the heat to high. We're going to bring this to a boil and then we're going to parboil our bones for 10 minutes. The water has come to a boil so let's go ahead and add our bones. Add it right in there. Let's put the rest in. There we are. So all the bones are in, and just let the water come back to a boil. Once it starts to come back to a boil, um, you'll see like a bunch of impurities float to the top. Go ahead and lower heat the heat just a bit, but keep it boiling, just so that it doesn't overflow. And then just scoop out the impurities from the top. And it's only been I think two, three minutes, so we still have like about seven more minutes to go been 10 minutes now so let's go ahead and turn off the heat and again for the last time we're going to remove the impurities from the top and then we're going to bring this over to the sink and then wash the bones in some cold water carefully dump the bones into a colander and then rinse it under some cold water make sure you wash the bones nice and clean sure that the bone has pulled down before you touch it. <laughs> you don't want to hurt yourself here. Okay, so just going to wash your bone like that. Okay. Here I have another pot with some water and it's a huge pot <laughs> so I only filled it less than halfway um, and then I'm going to add some salt that much and we're gonna bring this to a boil before we add our bones to the pork stock I'm gonna add one yellow onion 
and I'm just going to cut some slits on the top and on the bottom of the yellow onion just like that and we're going to place this into the stock there we are the water has come to a boil so, so let's go ahead and add our pork bones just throw them right into the, the pot there use my elbow to hold the colander <laughs> Let now that the bones are in, let it come back to a boil one more time, and then we're going to lower the heat and simmer it. It's boiling, so let's go ahead and turn down the heat and simmer the broth, and place the cover on top. My soup has been simmering for two hours now, so I went ahead and removed the lid. You see some of this fat on top of the, the stock here? Just go ahead and scoop it out. Right there. Just like that. And at this point, you can go ahead and uh, remove the onion as well from the stock. You want to carefully remove it so it doesn't break apart into like little pieces. So let me get the onion out. Alright, so like I said, carefully scoop it out. It's because it can break apart. There we go. And take it out. And you can go ahead and discard that. You don't need it anymore. So now we can go ahead and uh, season the stock. I'm going to add a little bit of sugar. And then I'm going to add some fish sauce. Okay, I had this much left, which should be plenty. Let me see here. Let's give it a couple rounds of fish sauce here. Okay, so don't overdo it because you can always add more. And so then go ahead and stir the stock. Just like the top, you don't have to go like all the way in the bottom and stir it. Just stir the top of the stock. And then do a taste test to see if you need to add more sugar or uh, fish sauce. Let me go ahead and do that. There we go. And make sure you blow <laughs> before you sip it because it's probably going to be really hot. I think I'm going to add more fish sauce. That's good enough. Again, just give it a stir. And remember, don't make it too salty because we're going to add um, some more stuff to it later. Okay, do another taste test. Okay, it's perfect. Go ahead and turn off the heat and we'll set the pork stock aside for right now. Now I'm going to boil my noodles. If you don't know how to cook the noodles, then just refer back to my other video on how to boil Vietnamese noodles. I am back at the supermarket because I had changed my mind. Uh, I decided at the last minute to buy some of the shrimps with the heads on because it just uh, it makes the broth taste better. I'm just going to grab some of these. They're $5.98 a pound. Okay, so I got my shrimp here. Go so check out them. That's all I needed. <laughs> Alright, um, here are the shrimps that I had just purchased at the supermarket. And I didn't buy many because it's just my husband that's going to be eating them. And like I said, I bought them because um, it's going to make the broth taste sweeter um, and much better than using your normal headless shrimps. And this bunch here came to $2.93. Alright, I now have an hour left until dinner time. So let's wash the shrimp in some salt. Take them out and then rinse the shrimp through the salt. We need to cut our meatballs in half as well as the beef. Um, these are the meatballs with the tendons, and I just basically cut them in half like this. Like that. And that's it. <laughs> 
for the beef, um, you can see that the slices are pretty big. So I'm probably going to cut them into thirds like that. And I place my beef uh, right next to my meatballs with the tendons. Then I place the shrimps with the heads on next to the beef. For the regular meatballs without the tendons, I'm going to cut them into quarters for my kids. It just makes it easier for them to eat it. Alright, so here we are. Um, the regular meatballs are placed right next to the shrimp. So wash the mushrooms and then slice them. First we'll need to drain the tofu because there's liquid inside. And then um, rinse them and then cut them into cubes. Okay, here's the tofu and let's just cut them into cubes whatever size that you want okay they're still a little bit too thick for me so I'm gonna cut them into smaller pieces like this one here, you can see how thick this piece is. I'm just going to split it in half. Separate it. And then cut them into cubes. Alright, the tofu is also done. Now we need to uh, wash the chrysanthemums and then cut them into smaller pieces. I have placed some of the broth into um, the hot pot here. So we want our broth to be kind of clear and kind of go through it with a fine mesh strainer and just scoop out anything that doesn't belong in the broth and you can see there's not really much anything but I just want to double check. Um, I'm going to start uh, warming up my broth right now because my family's going to be home soon. Let me plug this in. We turn the hot pot on and you can see there's a setting on it. It says um, low, medium, high. Right now we need the um, broth to come to a boil, we'll set it to high. For the chrysanthemums, just cut them into about one inch lengths. And I have some done right here. And we'll add this like right on top. Okay, now I'm going to thaw and then rinse my um, headless shrimps. I just placed the headless shrimps right next to the meatballs and this platter is done. This is everything that we have so far. Um, all your meats and seafood. And like I said earlier um, in my video this morning, you can add any kind of seafood you want, um, like squid and all that, but I'm just going to use shrimp today because uh, that's what my family likes. And here is, let me show you everything. This is what I have done so far. We have this platter here and there are tofu, uh, chrysanthemum, mushrooms, our noodles, and our soup. There we are. Now we just need to wash our um, green onions and cilantro. I just placed the cilantro and green onions right there and now it is complete. For the broth we're going to add some of this stuff here and just add one spoon at a time. Okay, so just put one spoon in and then taste it. And if you need to add more, then add more. But you don't want, you don't want to overdo it, so just do one spoon at a time. Okay, I just tasted the broth and it's perfect, so one spoon should be good enough. Before you start to eat your hot pot meal, um, be sure to uh, just warm up your noodles because it's probably cold by then. Um, just put it in the microwave for like maybe one minute at first and then it's not warm, then another minute. Um, the last thing that I'm going to do is make a dip for um, the meats and let me show you how I make it. Uh, just put some hoisin sauce in the bowl, give it a squeeze, and of course you don't want to use this dip, use whatever dip you want, <laughs> but this is how I like to eat it, sriracha, squeeze the sriracha, and some of the satay, this is what it looks like, let me give a spoon of that. And then just mix everything up. Simple as that. So the husband, our kids are home, and the broth has come to a boil. Go ahead, baby, and put the stuff in. Whatever you want. Uh huh. So he's gonna add 
first he added the um, meatballs with tendons, then he put the shrimp, some mushrooms, and some tofu. That's right, we need tofu. We put them, the meat in last with this because the meat and um, the chrysanthemum, they cook pretty fast. More mushrooms. Put that in, yeah, go ahead. Put that in the beef. I think that's the only things left. And this hot pot, um, I had received from my mom like over a decade ago. <laughs> so it's been probably more than maybe 12 years ago. Someone had given it to her and then she passed it on to me. So, but um, it's still in good working condition. <laughs> and we still use it. It's pretty big too. <laughs> um, my kids are supposed to be eating too, but they're full because they had a field trip to McDonald's today at school. So it looks like my husband and I that will be eating this for now. And that's it. You've seen him put everything in, and then once it's um, the beef is no longer red, then you can eat it, and er along with everything else. And there you are. Oh, we gotta put some noodles in your bowl, babe. Show them how to eat it. Maybe should have pushed some of the meat down. You see how it's popping out there? There you go. There, you can eat it. And don't don't cook the um, the meat too long because it's gonna overcook. You see the beef? So as soon as it's no longer red, you want to take it out. Otherwise, it'll be overcooked. Let's take some of the beef out, babe, because. It's already brown. It didn't take long at all. Just take it out and put it on the side. Anything that's gonna, because you don't want it to overcook, then we're just gonna take it out first. And the meatballs are already cooked, so you're pretty much just warming them up. And look, look at the, look at the shrimp. Oh yeah, don't forget that he just placed some of the. Um, green onions and cilantro and of course uh, we'll need to top with some black pepper too babe yeah we forgot that and now he's gonna put some of the headless shrimps in there and here comes the black pepper there we go just kind of mix everything up yeah, so I highly recommend using the shrimps with the heads on because they do make the broth taste better. And this is my husband's bowl. <gasps> that one's got a long whisker. <laughs> there you are. Oh, we need it. Um, good old mukbang. Yeah, so mukbang. I forgot okay. that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so he's going to go get a ladle and he's going to put some broth in his little bowl here. I don't think you put enough noodles in that bowl, babe. Yeah, that's what I need for now. Okay, so that is his dinner. And don't forget your dip, babe. There we are. Well, hot pot cooking is fun, don't you think? Everyone can cook his or her own food right at the table. And it's perfect for the picky eater as well. He or she can choose whatever items that they like to eat. Da 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 from the selection here. <laughs> it's so simple and easy to prepare and it's a great way to have an easy and relaxed dinner with family and friends. Thanks so much for watching. Have yourself a fantastic weekend and I'll see you later Alex. Okay before I leave I gotta show you my bowl. I forgot. So here's my noodles and I'm gonna add um, some meatballs chrysanthemums. I don't like that shrimp. <laughs> Where are all, all the headless shrimps, babe? Is it in here somewhere? Mm -hmm. Some tofu. I don't see it. I only see the ones with the heads on them. Maybe you ate them all. <laughs> yeah, you probably ate them all. Put some more in. And then some of the beef. 
and more mm -hmm. chrysanthemum because I like chrysanthemum. Uh -huh. Oh, okay, thank you. Here, just put it in my bowl for me. Okay, you can put the whole thing in, that's fine. Yep, thank you. Can you put some soup in there for me? Mm -hmm. And then more mushrooms. Tofu? Yeah, one more tofu. Yeah. Thank you. And more soup, please. Let's see what else. More meatballs. <laughs> and let you sh let that's good. Thank you, babe. Let me show you how I eat my sauce. This is what I like to do. Take my meatball or whatever that's in your bowl here. And slippery little guy. <laughs> Maybe I should be eating with a fork. <laughs> okay. Okay, there you go. And then just dip like that. See? And you put it in your mouth. Mm. Or you can put some of the dip right into your bowl. Like that. And then mix it up. And enjoy. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.